Thousands of people are fleeing Lviv tonight as the city comes under attack. Our own Christina Pascucci has been reporting there all week. She was able to escape the city last night. Lviv has been relatively quiet until last night when air raid sirens began and bomb blasts were felt across the city. We spoke to Christina as she fled the city heading to Poland. Stop, stop, pull over. No, okay. Our Christina Pascucci on the road to Poland after a Russian missile strike near the airport in Lviv. We are uh, just, you know, on the other end of the border with Poland, evacuated overnight. Uh Pascucci and her team, including a former Marine, escaped the safety with the help of a Ukrainian driver who refused to stop on the road to Poland. Before the attack, she had been covering the war from the ground, traveling with the Children of War Foundation, a group who performs surgeries on sick kids. The journey introducing them to everyday Ukrainians who've taken up arms in the fight against Russia. It's hard to describe um, how inspiring the people of Ukraine are just being there on the ground with them and seeing their spirit, their resilience. I went to this training camp yesterday with civilians who um, one man I interviewed was a 44 year old hotel service worker and he said he wanted to be ready if the Russians were to invade their city in Lviv. And so him and other civilians that were just everyday workers uh, lined up to train to fight. It's very emotional because, um, you know, they in the grocery stores, the shelves were empty and they had supply chain issues because of the war, because Kiev, which would normally be a major um, thoroughfare through which they would receive supplies, has been obliterated. Um, and still they, they had such pride in welcoming us into their home for dinner. They wanted to share, you know, their traditional Ukrainian food. They wanted to share their culture. They wanted to talk about what was happening and they were so open. We said, you know, how are you feeling about this? What will it take for you to leave your city? And the resounding response I heard when I asked person after person that was that they don't want to leave. They want to stay and they want to fight. It is their homeland. Russian troops now turning their focus to Lviv, a city that has been a safe haven for refugees and relatively quiet up to this point. This bombing was was at an airport in the city, just you know, a couple miles from where we were staying at a children's hospital. And so, um, I just I know that that is renewing a lot of panic for these people because they were starting to feel a little bit, dare I say, safe, not safe because they knew anything could change at any time. But there was almost a sense of calm amidst the the chaos of a war torn country. Well, as you know, here at KTLA, um, we are not just colleagues. Um, we are all very close. This is a family. Uh, when Christina uh, w decided to go um, over to the war, many of us were very worried, um, and, uh, and rightfully so. Um, and Christina is thankfully safe in Poland now. She joins us now with more on her escape. Christina, we saw in that story there that your emotions were running high, of course, understandably. So I want to ask you, how are you doing? to see you and I appreciate so much the support and love and prayers from so many people I really felt that and I also feel like um, the people of Ukraine are, are the ones who need it most I am good part of me wants to be back there um, it was it was an honor to tell their stories and I feel like sometimes in war the humanity is is lost mm -hmm. but when we were there it was just it was humanity at its best um, with the people that we were truly just uh, so honored and privileged to meet on the ground. You know, we saw a lot of, um, of makeshift uh, uh, weapons, um, you know, people turning um, their cars into tanks, um, you know, in other parts of Ukraine. Lviv, um, you know, being attacked uh, now it, it is, is a shock as it's so close to, to Poland. Um, what did you see as you were leaving Lviv? Well, you know, Lviv is kind of an oasis in a sense compared to what's happening in the east. Yet, um, obviously, tensions are still so high because for the most part, it's not if, it's when uh, the war will increasingly come to Lviv. And yes, there was a blast um, at that area where they have aircraft just, you know, hours after that we fled and left. Um, 
there were people on the ground that were training to fight. There were hotel service workers, this 44-year-old man who I interviewed who uh, works for this hotel, but he said he wants to keep his family safe if the Russian troops come. And Lviv was, was a safe haven through which, you know, people would come there from the east and stay there because they didn't want to leave their country. I spoke to the mayor's wife, who is a humanitarian and just an amazing human being, and she provides a safe haven for children, pregnant women who are refugees, but she likes to call them pilgrims. And she made a point that she felt so touched by the sheer volume of people who were staying in her city so that yeah. they wouldn't leave Ukraine mm -hmm. because they didn't want to leave until, uh, you know, the very end. Christina, I got to say, um, obviously, like Cher mentioned, it, it's a family here. And, of course, we're thinking about you and, you know, watching you leave, uh, leave Lviv was, was super tough to see. And um, we're just... Obviously, we're so thankful that you, you took your time to go out there and report for us on the ground and share some of those stories. So I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah, our very own Joan of Arc, for sure. You are uh, very courageous and uh, commend oh, you for, for bringing the, you the, human, the humanity um, from this war to us here at home. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank you. So good to see you, too. Appreciate you. No problem. I'll see you soon. We'll be praying. We'll see you soon.